Hello my little witchlings and today we are going to unbox the box of shadows for the month of December. So I got my box of shadows in for the month of December and last month it sucked. So let's see how this month is because if it still sucks, it is going um, bye bye. <laughs> but um, this is $24.99 a month and I ended up getting this on Crate Joy. So just to let you guys know, so this is what it looks like <laughs> when you get it in the mail. So, and let's give her a little open. And this is what it looks like when you get it. It does have a little card. So, and this says, it's the Seeker's Guide, Yule and Winter Solstice, holding on to the light. Oh, also recognized as Winter Solstice is the shortest day of the year. Though Yule marks the beginning of winter, this day is a turning point as the days begin to grow longer. Many traditions consider the time between the solstice and the calendar new year to be the rebirth of the sun and the celebration of light. So we began each year during winter, a time when many outward signs of life are dormant. The chill in the air and the dramatic reduced presence of the sun play into our need to pull inside. However, this is a time to balance introspection with finding ingenious ways of demonstrating our feelings for others. The idea that people can coexist through the winter peacefully in comfort and free of danger is the heart of midwinter lore. Yule falling on December 21st this year reinforces our desires for togetherness. When we celebrate Yule, we do with the understanding that we are a small part of a larger world. So I love that. I am so excited to have these days go longer because it's, I hate it being cold and dark out at 4.30 at night because it's like, really? it's just it sucks and if you guys do hear noise in the background the hubby and the kid are in the other room watching star wars so i'm trying to be quiet and they're trying to be quiet but we're so close together so but this is what the card looks like to pause it and here is the back Okay, so let's get into the box and see what's in. I am going to open it up. Oh. Okay, let's look into it. I'm not impressed. So the first thing I see is a Yule candle by Modern Magic. And this is it right here. So let's open it up. It smells really good. So let's see what this says. The winter solace is about anything. It's about light, whether the fire of our heart and home, the light of renewed life, the light of our hearts, or the light of the returning sun. Since our earliest days, as we humans have snuggled close to the fireside for comfort, warmth, fellowship, nourishment, and the fire light grenades. And the fire light generates. So candle should remind us for the return of the light, for one small candle can light up in a completely dark room. They are utilized as a focal point of celebrations, vigils, feasts, and special meals. They are powerful magic tools for setting a mood for ritual workings and seasonal atmosphere. Candle work with all four elements simultaneously and can be dressed and scented with holiday herbs and spices. And this does have some holiday herbs and spices in it. So I'm not mad at the candle, but the rest of the stuff I see in the box, I'm not too happy about. So, and you do get a card too. So the next thing I see is, it's like origami, I think it's a star, let's see if I can, without breaking it, turn it to the way it's supposed to be. It's cute, but it's just like a piece of paper, so, and let's see what's this, um, this says, huh. During the Roman festival of Sandernelia, celebrants often decorate the homes with clippings of shrubs and hung metal ornaments outside the trees. 
Typically, the ornaments represent a god, either Saturn or the family pardon deity. The laurel wreath was also popular. Um, it really doesn't say too much more than that, than it's just an ornament. It's, it's cute, but it's just a paper ornament. Okay. The next thing I see is the selenite, and it's like a little crystal that looks like an iceberg. Let me see if I can open it up. And there it is right there. But for some reason, I ended up getting two of them. But this is a high vibration stone and traditionally used for scrying or cleansing. Selenite is said to inhibit the space between light and matter. Selenite is a powerful dispenser and stabilizer for erotic emotions and brings about consciousness understanding or what is taking place of a subconscious level. This crystal can be used to create a protective grid and a large piece placed on the home ensures a peaceful environment atmosphere you're supposed to have is a witch's bells and I have witch's bells all over my house I love them but I don't have one in the box and I have a second one of these so I think they messed up <laughs> so the last thing I see is some um, frankincense and this is just incense sticks it's got a little tiny thing that you can put your incense sticks on but like I said it's just incense sticks and that is it and, and frankincense is one of the oldest documented magical resins. It's been traded in North Africa and parts of the Arab world for nearly 5,000 years. As a symbol of divinity, it's widely known for its appearance in the story birth of the birth of Jesus. So that is everything in this box. So I got some $2, you know, frankincense that I can get at any store, a tiny little candle, a paper star and two of these so for $24.99 yeah I'm I'm canceling this box I'm not getting it anymore I think it is such a waste of your money and I can get so much more things with this box than I can like I ordered another subscription box um, it's called the witch's roots and this box was also $25 and I will be unboxing this soon this is a lot better so um yeah so yep this is a ripoff for a box but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys will subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you will be notified every single time that I upload a new video I hope you guys have a wonderful and a magical day and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys